Hey everybody, how are you? Did you have a great weekend? Yes? Awesome, I'm very glad to hear that. Okay, well, it's time for our new primary video for this week, okay? And we're gonna keep going through gymnastics, but also we're gonna do a little bit of condition today, conditioning today at the beginning. So for today's class, it's important that you know that you are gonna need help from someone, okay? Mommy and daddy, sister, someone that makes you feel um, safe, okay? Don't get scared, there's nothing to worry about, this is when you're gonna need some help. I'm also gonna bring someone that's gonna help me, okay? Good, so let's warm up. Okay, let's roll your head, big circles. Good, going around, big circles. There you go, to the other side. Circle, circle, circle. Yes, good job. Okay, now look, we're gonna shrink. Yes, hide your neck and release. Shrink and release. Shrink, release. Shrink, release. Shrink, release. Good, and we're gonna swing our arms like to the front and back, front, back, front, back all the way up. And in circles, back like this, big circles. Yes, all the body getting ready to start a workout. Yes, now look, we're gonna do some jogging in the place. Jogging in the place. Good. Just to get warmer fast, fast. Keep jogging in the place, jogging in the place. Good job. Do some more jogging. Good. And look. We're going to separate our legs very wide. We're going to go down, all the way down, like your frog posture. Good. We're going to stay this. We're going to push with our elbows back, like this. Good. We're going to hold. We're going to stretch that. And we're going to do three frog jumps. One, two, and three. Good. Okay. So, the first exercise we're going to do today, it's called Superman. Yes, and this is how it goes. This is to get our lumbars, the lower part of our muscles back, and our belly. So this is what we do. We look down to the floor, and we look up, and as we look up, we lift our arms from your floor, like this. And then we go down. And look up, and down, and look up, and down. Good, let's do two more. Up. And down, and up, and down. Perfect. And we're gonna mix that with 10 mountain climbers. I know you know how to do mountain climbers. So hands on the floor and climbers like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Now let's go down back again and let's do five more supermans, okay? Let's do this one together. And one, and two, and three, and four, and five. And let's do another ten mountain climbers. Hands on the floor. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. So I want you to keep doing the sequence. Four, four more times, okay? Five and ten, okay? Good. And once you're ready, let's keep on going with the video. So, in this part is the part where you're gonna need help, okay? So I'm gonna ask my helper to come over here. Come here, please. Okay, so remember Lucas. Lucas has been helping me for a couple of videos. So, now we're gonna do our donkey kick, okay? But now we're gonna try to kick higher to a handstand posture and mommy and daddy are gonna help you by grabbing one leg and then the two and help you to balance on the handstand posture, okay? Good, so this is how it goes, okay? So hands up and kick. So you grab both legs, okay? Make sure they're tight and hold them here for a couple of seconds. Let's count five. One, Two, three, four, five. Good, and go back, leg and leg. Very good. Always go back slowly and control, okay? As you see, 
Lucas has a very good postural hands and he has been doing it for a while. So if you're good like that and you want to challenge yourself a little more, instead of grabbing both of the legs, we are going to put the legs side to side to help him balance, okay? And it goes like this. Good. Kick. See? So always head between your arms, okay? And I stretch one arm on the other and I help him to find the balance. Like this. Squeeze the belly bottom, squeeze the gluteus, squeeze your legs, see? So he's getting the balance. Good. And go down. See? Very good, okay? So practice this as many times as you want and count for how many seconds can you hold your hands in position with or without help, okay? And this is a homework. You're actually going to record that and you're going to send it to me. You're going to be like, isn't that? Look, I can hold my hands down, hands down for five minutes. Yay! <laughs> and that's going to be awesome, okay? Good. And for the last exercise of today's video, I'm going to use the cones here. We're going to trace. We're going to put three cones here, okay? This is for the easy part. We're going to frog jump over the cones like this, okay? But we're going to frog jump after doing a handstand with a roly-poly all together. <gasps> yes! It sounds hard, but it's not that much, and you're going to do it with help, okay? So this is how you do it. So you handstand first. You're going to grab your legs, okay? Now, Lucas is going to look at his belly bottom, and he's going to bend his arm like this, and... I help him to go to the roly poly and go back, jumping like a frog. Go! Big frog jumps. Good! See? That wasn't that hard, right? Besides, mommy and daddy are gonna do some, be doing some work for you to help you. Let's go and do it again, okay? We're gonna do the hands and roly poly a little bit slower, okay? So you can see and go through all the steps of the movement. Okay, so kick, handstand. Okay, so look. Look at the belly bottom. Bend your arms slowly, slowly. Go like a roly poly. Knees to your chest. And stand up. And front jumps. Good. Perfect, Lucas. That was great. So, you're going to practice this as many times as you can, okay? Roly poly. And then add some cardio with the front jumps, okay? Good. Time to stretch. Let's do a quick stretch for today. So, together, arms up, try to touch the sky very high. Good job. Good. Slowly, go down, hang those arms. If you can, touch the floor. If you can't, don't worry, but just keep your knees straight. Very good. Now, let's go up. Good. We're going to put our head to one side. We're going to press with your hand, stretching the neck. Good. To the other side. Very nice. Now, let's go down and look at the floor and press your head down with both of your hands. And look at me. And perfect! That was so, so, so good. Remember, the more you practice, the better you're going to get at this, okay? So, I'll see you tomorrow in our swim class, okay? Practice, have fun, and have a nice day. Bye!